why Easter is so significant to mankind and what happened on that Easter morning when Adam and Eve sinned, sin and death entered the world. The Bible says therefore just as sin entered the world through one man and death through sin and in this way death came to all people because all sinned. Before Christ came into this world, sin and death were the dominant power in this world. Man was unable to meet the requirements of God's law. Therefore, therefore there stood a return code against man that we all should die because in Adam we all sinned. We were all inside Adam when he sinned. We were all powerless before sin and death. No one could conquer death. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Moses, David, Isaiah, Isaiah, all the great men of God, they came and lived. They did amazing things with the help of God's Spirit, but they couldn't defeat sin and death. They all eventually died. Therefore, when the right time came, God decided to enter this world to address this problem of sin and death. God appeared in flesh. That is the greatest news. That is the mystery of Christmas. Hebrews 10 says, therefore, when Christ came into this world, he said, sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me in order to save men from, from sin and death. God should first become a man like you and me and then meet death face to face. That is why Christmas is such an important event. Because it is the day God became a man like you and me. Mary was conceived through the power of the Holy Spirit, not through any sexual relationship with a sinful man. This is why Jesus was referred to as second Adam in the book of 1 Corinthians. Jesus didn't come from Adam. Jesus was not inside Adam when Adam sinned. God gave a new body to Jesus which he prepared for him. Jesus had a perfect body, a perfect mind, a perfect spirit when he was born. He was sinless and he was spotless. Jesus was fully man and fully God. Jesus is God rel relinquishing all the powers and dominion and, 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 and glory as, as the Godhead and deciding to live within a human body for 33 years. He lived only 33 years. At the age of 33, he, he, he willingly surrendered his life to be crucified on the cross as it is written in the Bible. He sacrificed his life for all the people. His body was brutally beaten to death, a symbol of what our earthly body deserves. Christ paid the debts on the cross. He cancelled the written code that stood against us. Sin was defeated on the cross. Christ died and gave us spirit to the Father. The Bible says that Jesus calling out with a loud voice said, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. And having said this, he breathed his last. And that was not, that, that was not the end of Jesus Christ. In the book of Revelation, Jesus said to John, I am the living one. I was dead. And now look, I am alive forever and ever. And I hold the keys of death and Hades. What does it mean? Following his death for sin, then Jesus journeys into Hades, to the city of death, and grips its gates of its hinges. This must have been a shock to Satan, as that's the last place he expected God to show up. That's the place where death ruled. No one could defeat death until then. Satan had the keys of Hades and death. Satan had, had seen men and women coming to that place of death, Hades. He had seen Abraham, he had seen Isaac, Sarah, David, Isaiah and all the great men of God coming to that place who couldn't defeat death. But this time he saw a different man coming to that place, God becoming a man and coming to that place. This man is different from all the other men and women Satan seen in that place. Jesus had not sinned. He's sinless. He's spotless. Therefore, death had no hold over Jesus. There is another name for Jesus. Jesus said in the Gospels, I am the way and I am the truth and I am the life. Jesus is life. 
Jesus is the source of every life. For him, all things were created and through him, all things were created. Imagine Jesus, the very life, meeting death. He went there to put an end to death. That was the death of death. Life won over death at last. Jesus said to Martha, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even though they die. When we put our faith in him, death has no power over us. When we die, we get to be home and, and live with the Lord forever and ever. And that's why Easter is very significant to mankind. Christ is risen and death has no power over us. Have a great Easter with all your family and loved ones.